Hi everyone, my name is Greg Hodgson. I am the Occupational Hygienist for the University of Alberta and also a contract instructor with the Faculty of Extension. I put together a small little video about occupational hygiene and the different career options that are available. So please take a look and I hope you enjoy it. Today's presentation is on occupational hygiene, putting the health in health and safety. Now, when a lot of people think of health and safety, they think of industries such as construction and oil and gas. These industries rely on a lot of health and safety requirements to keep people safe, such as hard hats, fall protection, and safety vests. Now, safety, of course, is very important. All the controls in the workplace, such as engineering controls, administrative controls, like training and procedures, and even personal protective equipment, or PPE, can go a long way at preventing incidents and also reducing the chance of an injury. These injuries, of course, can range from small cuts or bruises to broken bones or even fatalities. Now, while safety tends to focus on those immediate risks that can cause injury, occupational hygiene looks at factors in the workplace that can have short or long-term health impacts, such as respiratory conditions, fatigue, dermatitis, and cancer. The goal is to protect employees' physical well-being. These factors, or stressors in the workplace, fall under four categories, chemical hazards, biological hazards, physical hazards, and ergonomic hazards. So now that you know what occupational hygiene is, what makes it such an exciting career? Why should you consider health and safety in your future plans? For me, health and safety is rewarding because you're helping people. You're helping people stay safe at work so they can go home and enjoy all the things they love with their friends and family. The other thing that I love about health and safety is all the different industries you get to see. For me personally, I've gotten to work in construction, oil and gas, agriculture, research and development, and even a nuclear power plant facility. The other exciting thing about health and safety are all the career options available. Specific to occupational hygiene, you can work as a technician who takes air samples to assess potential worker exposure, or you can work in a lab analyzing those samples. You can be an instructor and help teach workers how to protect themselves against hazards in the workplace. You can work in an office and help an organization develop policy and procedures around health and safety. You can be an inspector or auditor and help organizations catch deficiencies deficiencies to improve their processes. And of course, you can become a manager or director and work with a team of professionals to improve health and safety in the workplace. So I hope that gives you a little taster of occupational hygiene and health and safety and the different career options that you can uh, expect. I've really enjoyed my career in health and safety. It's taken me all across the country, internationally, got to work with a ton of different organizations, a ton of different um, uh, workers, uh, welders, carpenters, um, oil and gas employees, all kinds of different uh, setups residential construction. It's just been fantastic. And uh, at the end of the day, probably the biggest thing for me uh, is how rewarding it is. I get to go home and I know that I've tried to uh, help everybody stay safe at work so that they can enjoy um, the recreational activities with their friends and families at home. Uh, and really that's what this career is all about. So if you're thinking about it, hope to see you in uh, my course sometime. Have a good one.